Now, we do this, right? We're human, food tastes amazing sometimes, or we're partying, partying and we're hanging out with friends and family and we're sitting at the table and you know the foods and the hors d'oeuvres and everything keeps coming out and we're enjoying ourselves. It's fine, it's totally fine. Enjoy it, do it. Just do it in moderation, but understand what happens. Understand that if you have that party, the next day, maybe you should eat less, right? To, to compensate for it. Just have the parties, enjoy yourselves, but make some changes the next couple days, right? Repair yourself. What happens to it? So let's look at what happens with diabetes because diabetes is typically a condition of excess. Diabetes type two is a condition of eating too much or drinking too much, not exercising enough because you're not burning the calories. And so it's just too much. And diabetes, frankly, it's on the rise, right? High fructose corn syrup is everywhere and that's leading to a huge problem. So if you're a diabetic, cut fructose. Step one, done. Eliminate juice and refined uh, sugars and you'll see a huge change. But here's what I want to point out. Diabetics, they have an imbalance between NADH and NAD. Remember NADH? You have your glucose and I showed you that pathway of glucose and that whole cycle of how it makes NADH. Well, glucose makes all this NADH. Diabetics have a lot of NADH. They have tons of it and they're not being able to burn it. So there's an increased amount of NADH compared to NAD, which is burn NAD, NADH. So what happens is it affects your mitochondria, the cells, you know, the things that are living in your cell that are producing ATP. So if they're not being able to working very well, that's an issue. And let's look at what happens. So as we discussed before, you eat your glucose and diabetics eat too much of it. Fructose especially as well. So you eat the glucose or fructose makes a lot of NADH, tons of it. Okay. So you're getting tons of NADH when you're eating your sugars and then your body tries to burn it. So NADH here burns and then it helps make your ATP. Great in moderation, but too much is not great. What happens when it's too much? When it's too much, here's, see the arrow right here? High, high NADH, too much NADH will shut down this gene right here. It dirties this gene, the GAPDH gene. It sh makes it so dirty that you no longer can burn this compound right here, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. All right, so what? Yeah, so I had too much sugar and now my body's just gonna deal with it. Well, how does your body deal with that overeating and overconsumption of glucose? It has to put it somewhere. You're not puking it back up, right? You're not just you're having a big humongous cake or a soda or even a couple slices of cake. Let's face it, some cakes are loaded in sugar or ice cream. You're not puking it up. So it has to go somewhere. And what happens is there's these alternative routes that the body doesn't want to use. It doesn't want to do it, but it, it, there's, there's protections in place because it has to put it somewhere. So it goes down these other reactive pathways and look at all this red. All this red stands for reactive oxygen species. You remember we talked about many moons ago about why cars are not using oxygen as fuel because it's super explosive. And remember we've talked about many, many times that the concentration of glutathione inside your mitochondria is really high to protect you against what? This, the Ross reactive oxygen species, okay? But when you eat too much sugar, you are producing tons of it, tons of it, okay? And diabetics are losing what? Their vision, that's the first place to go. Why is the vision bad in, the, in diabetics? Because there is a massive amount of mitochondria in your eyeball, tons of it. Then you have heart, you have your blood flow. And then NOS chapter, nitric oxide chapter in dirty genes, we talk about this too. So this is a huge issue.